hangover, but that's okay. We're still doing some fun stuff today. It is not a park day. We actually just got to the boardwalk where we are going to eat breakfast at Trattoria Al Forno. I have never eaten here before. The other three have never eaten here before. The menu looks fantastic. So I am already checked in and we're gonna head down there now. First things first, we got our drinks. Morgan and I split the french fries, yay! Abby got apple juice, and Bailey got water, yay! We already I'm ordered our food. Kayla's gonna watch that and be like, I was gonna say yeah. All right, vlog eats first. It looks like we got four plates, two and two, but what we're actually doing is splitting because we all wanted the breakfast pizza and the tiramisu french toast, so we're all gonna have half and half. It looks delicious. Here's the aftermath. In hindsight, we should have just ordered one pizza, but we'll take it to go and maybe eat it for dinner tonight or something. Or breakfast before we fly out tomorrow, we'll see. All right, we are officially in a food coma. We are pretty catatonic walking out of there. Very full. Uh, but we are now going to head to Disney Springs. It is 10.56, so we're gonna shop around there for a couple hours and yeah, that's, that's about it. in a while but we decided to pop I can't see the sign from here but this is swirls on the water which is the, the new dole whip station so we are gonna get a variety of items for the four of us to beat the heat everything's melting so we've all started eating but we got our dole whips Bailey what'd you get the celebration cone it's got blue cookie dough and lemon yep. Morgan I got the flight which has the blue cookie dough regular pineapple and then uh, like a habanero lime and Abby? I got the same thing as Bailey, but in a cup. In a cup. And then I got a sangria float with pineapple. And we'll report back momentarily with how they taste. All right, so we all sampled and polished this off. Um, this was like a habanero lime, and it really was spicy, but I thought it was delicious. Everyone else thought it was a little too spicy. The traditional pineapple Morgan said was really good. It's traditional pineapple. You get it's what you get. It's my favorite. And then the blue one was actually really good too. It tasted more like lemon than cookie dough, but still good. So Morgan said the pineapple was her favorite. How was yours? Delicious. And it's gone. She's got nothing to show for it. It's all gone. Abby's got just a little bit left and a blue tongue. <laughs> and then my sangria was delicious. I've had it with rum before, but I was happy to do something different with the sangria this time. All right. Ooh. Focus. Okay, we are officially done at Disney Springs. You can hear the thunder in the background and it's raining. So we are going to actually head to Animal Kingdom Lodge because an Uber back to the house from there is almost half the price is an Uber directly from here. So we are gonna kind of have a layover here and we might go back and see if we can, if any of the Savannah animals are out and enjoy a bit of a moment at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Disney transportation strikes again. Um, I mean, we're saving money, not necessarily time. Uh, we ended up walking to the Disney Springs bus stop and made it there to a lineup of people already waiting. And then we still waited another 15 minutes in a torrential downpour. And then when we got on the bus and the bus finally arrived, we stood there for yet another 15 minutes on a full bus, not going anywhere. So we have no idea what was happening, but we made it. We are now at Animal Kingdom Lodge, Jumbo House. Abby has ran up ahead to use the ladies room, but we're gonna stop for a quick moment, sit, because we were standing on the bus, and then call an Uber back home. All 
okay, so a lot has happened since I last checked in. As of last night, we got back to the house. We decided to take a nap and lay low. I read a book, we had some dinner, and then we went to the Tiki Bar and Hot Tub. Um, it was raining all evening, but we decided to chance it and it was a really good move. We ended up hanging out there for like an hour. So it was a really good relaxing end. And then we came back to the house and played a game before calling it a night. We ended up going to bed pretty late at like 12.30, even though we knew we needed to take an Uber at 3.45 to get to the airport. So we woke up, we got our Uber, and on the way to the Uber, I noticed that our flight had been canceled. So I was internally panicking just a little bit, but I figured, you know what, it's fine. We'll go to the different counters and we'll try to get some flights on different airlines. I looked through an email and had gotten an um, Frontier let us know about midnight last night that the flight was canceled and said that we could either rebook with Frontier or we could get up to $600 per person to book with a different airline or up to $600 per person for alternate methods of transportation. So rental car, bus ticket, train ticket, whatever. So we got into the airport and it was utter chaos. Flights have been canceled all over the place. Flights have been canceled for days. Uh, it was, it, yeah, it was just a mess when we got here shortly after 4 a.m. We waited in line for Southwest and Delta and American for them to say that there are no flights out until probably Wednesday. So we decided to check for rental cars to drive home today. There are no cars available today. So we finally managed to find the best way back home and we are getting a rental car tomorrow and driving all the way home. So. I'm very grateful that Frontier is paying for this. I had heard that Southwest is only giving $200 and sometimes even at that, they're only giving flight credit because when you buy a non-refundable ticket, they say it's non-refundable. Um, so while I have a lot of bad things to say about Frontier, I'm actually very grateful for what they've done in this situation because we won't have to pay to get home tomorrow. We did have to book a hotel because I really need a shower and don't want to sleep in the airport tonight, especially driving home nearly 16 hours with stops. So it's an unfortunate end to this trip. So we get to hang out here. It's currently 8.40 a.m. So we've been at the airport for almost five hours already and we can't get to our hotel until two because that's when the shuttles, the free shuttles start. We can't check in until three. Um, I guarantee as soon as we check in at three, I'm gonna be taking a shower and unwinding. Um, but we'll be there all night and then I book the rail car for 6 a.m. and that's the first shuttle to the airport. So we're gonna get here at the butt crack of dawn and get out as soon as possible. Uh, Abby and I were both supposed to work tomorrow and now we're clearly not working tomorrow. We both gotta take, I'm taking a vacation day and she's taking a sick day, but we're both still gonna have to work on Tuesday. So this is not the end we were hoping for, much less than magical. Uh, Bailey and Morgan were lucky ducks and had no problems with their flight. So um, based on the time, they are in the air right now and could be landing at any time. Oh. I'll check back in a few hours. There's obviously nothing fun sitting at the airport. I am almost finished with my book and might have to watch a few movies until 2 p.m. But I might as well give you a tour of our hotel once we get checked in, so I'll check in a little bit. All right. It's been a hot minute. Um, we have now been at the airport for nine hours. It is 2.22, I wonder if this is our shuttle. We are taking a shuttle to our airport, no it's not, uh, to our airport. We are leaving the airport and going to our hotel for the evening. Um, it is a Cambria, look nice from the website, so we'll see. Uh, we'll get a bed and a room and a pool. So I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing ever, not ideal, but we're rolling with it. Uh, we're surviving, not really thriving, but all we can count on is survival at this point. We had Panda Express for lunch, we watched church, we used the bathroom a good six times, so could be worse, could be a lot better though. 
but we're looking forward to getting out of town tomorrow, that's for sure. All right, so a lot of drama has unfolded since the last time I checked in, but I just walked into the hotel room. I haven't even turned the light on yet, and I thought I would give you the tour with me as I get my first reaction. I was actually gonna film in the hallway and do like a dramatic entrance, but there was some kid out there and it made me feel really awkward. So let me turn you around and turn some lights on. So here's the dark room. First things first is the bathroom. Ooh, okay. Oh, zoom out. I don't know why my camera keeps zooming automatically, but we've got a nice shower with soaps already there. Decent shower head, little ledge and towels. Single sink, pre-lit mirror, storage underneath. Let me come in here. I don't know if there's lights. Let me open the blinds as I'm sure you're already getting a look of the room. This one. Yay. Okay, so here is the room. Very modern, love the artwork. We got a little sitting area here. Let's look at our view. We are on the fifth floor. Kind of feels like we got a jungle. It's nice because we're minutes from the airport. So having this luscious view is very nice. We've got hanging space. Not that I'll be hanging anything since we're leaving bright and early tomorrow. We've got a safe. Drawers and shelves. It's my dear's air for a uh, fridge. Teeny tiny little thing. We have a Keurig. We have an assortment of cake cups. I will definitely be popping all of those in my bag and taking whatever I don't drink with me ice bucket. We got a desk. Abby ordered some groceries. That'll be our road snacks. We've got a nice large TV. She threw our bags here and a mirror. And that's all there is to it. All right, I'm about to take a shower, but I thought I'd fill you in on what has gone down since the last time I checked in. Last time I talked to you guys, we were at the airport at the shuttle stop to get a shuttle to the hotel. We're staying at Cambria, right by the Orlando airport. We stood there for a total of an hour and a half with no shuttle, which should not be the case. After 40 minutes, I called the hotel and he said it was on the way. I said, okay, great. After over an hour, 30 minutes after that phone call, I called again and said, where is it? We've been waiting for over an hour. He said, I'll call the driver. At that point, I'm wiping away tears. I'm just exhausted. I only got two and a half hours of sleep last night, thinking I'd be able to nap in my own bed tonight. So I was just kind of falling apart and losing it. And I was uh, FaceTiming my parents and they said, we're calling you an Uber. I didn't really want to call an Uber because when you pay the money for the amenity of airport transportation, that's part of the reason I picked this hotel, I expected it. So after an hour and a half, they called an Uber. We got here within seven minutes and no problems there. We show up to the hotel, I go to the counter to check in and he goes, we have a wait list. The rooms are not clean. We're working really hard to get them clean. So write down your name and phone number and we'll let you know when your room's ready. I said, oh, okay, well, how long is it gonna take? And the guy, no joke, goes, it could be 10, 15, maybe 30, 45, 60 minutes. What? Like, there's a big difference between 10 and 60 minutes. I wasn't, I'm like, what? He said, some people here have waited 10 minutes, some have waited 60, it just depends on the room you get. I said, okay, so how long is it gonna take? What? He said, which room did you get? I said, we got two beds. He said, It'll probably be closer to an hour. So I gave him the cold shoulder and I walked to a couch and I just kind of broke down. Um, and then I pulled myself together and the bar opened, I thought at four, so we sat over there at four. Turns out it opened at five, but I FaceTimed mom and dad again. Finally sat down and talked to them for a while, which was good. They picked up my doggy Tanga from daycare for me, which is awesome, because obviously I didn't account for arriving at 10 p.m. tomorrow night driving. We ended up having the best bartender, so even though we had some pretty bad service getting to this point, the guy at the front desk just had zero sympathy. Um, but we were sitting there at about 4.15, and she was totally fine with us sitting there and chilling while we waited for her to open at five. 
and at five she got us some cocktails and we decided to just order dinner while we were sitting there which was actually really really good um, a lot more people were coming down and it become a pretty poppin' kind of place. There were definitely lots of people sitting around and we would eavesdrop on people telling stories about how their flights had been canceled too. So definitely feels like a club, even though it's not a club you want to be a part of. But I just finished dinner and decided to come up here. This is in fact the first time I've seen the room. So I'm gonna take a shower. It's early enough. The sun is still out. So I'm gonna shower um, and then we're gonna head to the pool for a little bit. Um, but we're gonna wake up at about five o'clock tomorrow morning. We're gonna uber back to the airport even though there is a shuttle it is proven to be not trustworthy so we're gonna mom and dad have offered to pay for our uber so we're gonna go back to the airport and pick up our rental car right when they open at 6 a.m and we are going to get out of town as fast as humanly possible we're both very ready to be home uh, I made a comment yesterday as I knew that vacation was coming to an end and I said man I really don't I'm not ready to go home yet I'm not ready to go to real life this is not what I meant I did not need this extra day and a half in Orlando, but everything's okay, everything's working out, and we'll have a good drive tomorrow. So I got some podcasts to listen to. I'm probably not gonna vlog much on the drive, but I'll keep you updated as the day goes on because this has been quite the adventure. Another beautiful morning at the airport but we have a rental car. Let's get out of town. We had a RAV4 and free upgrade and now we're in a Nissan Sentra, but whatever. We got a car and we're leaving, yay! It is 9.22 p.m. We are officially back at the Cincinnati airport. We're gonna take a potty break and then take a shuttle back to my car and then we still have two more hours to drive home. It has been a long, long day of driving. We left at 6.30 this morning and it's now almost 9.30. We still got two more hours to go. All right, now that we're back in Ohio, I am gonna sign off on this crazy weekend. And thanks for joining, thanks for entertaining me. I would say it's been fun, but not so much. But. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'm not gonna do a video like this ever again, fingers crossed, but still appreciate the love. Have a good night. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.